Hey everybody, welcome. <laughs> we'll get it going. We'll get it going today. Eventually we're gonna get it going. Good to see everybody. Coming to you live from the Skycam and home of Joyful Journeys. This is Simeon and uh, wow. What a day, man. <laughs> what a day. I hope everybody's fine. And my good friend, Tema, God bless you, man. It is so good to see you. And uh, man, hats off to you and blessings. And Thomas Rodrigo, Jehovah-licious, all right. <laughs> Nigel, we just uh, got everybody in the house today. Term is in the house. I think that's Emil. Um, excited to show spiral strings today, and um, and Kevin's in the house. Yeah, we've got we've got a full house today. You know, it's nothing like. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, it's so funny. Let me just fade this down. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, electri electricity in the air. Uh, my wife saw the uh, the wallpaper today, and she goes. Ooh, it's like we're tripping today. Yeah, that's that's honestly how I feel. Uh, I just feel like I'm tripping and Chewy, Chewy's here to help us uh, keep things uh, going. And it is so nice to see everybody. Yeah, listen, I okay, so today, and as always, you guys are my quality control out there. So um, if audio sounds good, if the mic is a little louder, you know, just uh, just thank you so much for um, for helping me out uh, in all of these crazy things. I was telling my wife earlier today, I said, you know what, I'm going to start like 10 minutes early and just kind of play and get into everything. And, you know, just so I can just kind of chill and relax because like you're rushing to get everything together. And so just that little music time um, in the beginning just kind of helps me to kind of get myself kind of centered and focused and, um, you know, on what we've got to do today. <laughs> and um, sure enough, uh, you know, you, you've got little crazy things. Solomon, Solomon says, catch the little foxes that spoil the vine. And man, I had, I had some foxes running around, running around in this studio. Okay, who is on the shelf? <laughs> so uh, talk about somebody that uh, helps you to kind of concentrate. So so this is, um, I'll call him Little Bob. So this is Little Bob Ross. And um, I just really admire um, Bob and his character. And, you know, the really cool thing is, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just let Bob... Just let Bob hang, kind of hang out down here. Uh, the cool thing is that I was actually able to go to Bob Ross's studio in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, I was doing a concert there with um, my dear friend, Linda Randall, who is a Christian artist. And we were in Muncie and I actually got to take a tour of the um, studio. And I've got some video. I, I need to put that together and uh, and post that because that was just an amazing, um, amazing experience. So, okay. So where do we go? And so there's a lot of things going on. One of the things. Let's just get just kick off with this. Um, so you you know how often I was I would mention uh, wanting to work with native instruments and you know how trying to reach out to them and. So finally, after all of these, I guess, years, uh, I was, I'm finally able to make a connection with uh, Native Instruments. And, and so um, they just kind of, uh, you know, we're just gonna start working together and doing some things. Uh, one of the things is that um, Contact is on sale uh, for 50% off, I think, yeah. So, so you can get 50% off of contact. That's the full version, upgrade, and crossgrade. And what crossgrade is, you can um, 
cross-grade from any free contact player library. So let's just say you downloaded the Westwood Roots uh, contact library, the free one, or the Project Sam Free Orchestra, or the Blueprint from Fracture Sounds, any of those free contact player libraries. Uh, it qualifies you for the cross-grade. And, and looking at this, um, it's, and it's actually how I was able to get uh, into uh, contact myself. And so we can, we can just go to buy now and let's see. So the cross grade, cross grades are 99 and you can update for 50, the full version's 150. But listen, why, why give them an extra 50 bucks? You can cross grade for 99 and get the full version of contact. And I say that so much. And one, one of the important things is if you, if you use the link in the description, that's going to uh, help uh, them know that you're watching the channel and enjoying everything. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so 50% off Berlin Strings. Yeah, that's a great, uh, that's a great collection. So, um, okay. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so we're just, we're just going to be probably all over the place today. <laughs> but I wanted to, um, you know, you get so many different things. And as soon as you, you think that you've covered everything, it's, it's almost like somebody opens up another uh, barrel of monkeys that you've got to sort through. And, um, and so sometimes I'm not able to do as much as I would like, but... Uh, I told Kevin, I said, today's the day we're going to, we're going to just right off the bat, we're going to take a look at, uh, at what you're doing over at uh, Triumph Audio. And I love the concept of Triumph because, you know, the music and things help us uh, to overcome adversities and to just do things. And I think what I really enjoy about experiencing some of uh, Kevin's work at Triumph is that they have... Um, They've got their own voice and there's no copycats. I mean, you know, it's, it's easy to copy somebody, but to come up with your own voice and your own approach, I think that's what sets these guys apart. Shortwave is their, um, is their latest release. And this is derived from using shortwave radio signals and all kinds of crazy things. And we're going to just dive right into this and and maybe take a look at some of the other things that they're doing too, but definitely want to just hit on shortwave a little bit. And then, um, you know, if we can't get to everything else, then we're definitely going to be coming back to Triumph, uh, I'm sure. Uh, again, you need the full version of Contact for this. And uh, like I said, use the link and get uh, the full version or whatever for 50% off. Uh, so let's just pull this up. And, you know, I am, it's, I am hard to... Uh, to change things. And so I am using contact six. I'm still working my way over, but this um, is using the, um, the in this, uh, let's see what it is. Yeah, the photosynthesis engine. And so this is kind of cool. I'm just pulling up one of the tonal pads and we are going to, uh, we're gonna tune in here and do this. To think that this was derived from shortwave radio signals is, is pretty impressive because the universe is talking to us in so many different ways, radio waves and electromagnetic waves, and to harness that in an instrument is very incredible. And you see, I see this little hertz right in the middle of the interface. And we're gonna keep uh, pushing this up. Let's see. We've got four tabs. And with this engine, currently only layer one is active in these presets. We've got an effects engine, a rhythmic engine, and an output uh, engine. You know, Canopy, good to see you, by the way. Uh, it is like, yeah, you would, you would think that it wouldn't be as musical as it is, but uh, it is very musical. Okay. 
It's, it's just got some ominous things in it and beauty, it's all kind of mixed in together. Okay, let me drop down uh, the quick load. And see, I load things in the quick load down here. And then when you load things in the quick load down in the bottom, it will show up in these drop down menus, um, which, uh, which I really enjoy using here. So let's go to shortwave. Uh, let's just go to some more soundscapes. And let's go to crosstalk. And th this is what these live streams are all about. It's about ex exploration because I'm going to find out uh, when you find out. So when I find out, you're going to find out. So this is crosstalk. It's very different. Recordings of conversations, weird things, signals, all kinds of stuff. Let's see something here. And then we can just kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> It is, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, let's let's see. Let's find some other things here. Okay. And you see what I've got here. I've got bar. I've got all of. They were so nice to send uh, send these over to me, and I just want to uh, just give them a great shout out. Yeah, it is like uh, it is like a little droid chatter factory here. Um, okay, let's go back to uh, some soundscapes here, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm really influenced by titles. This is Phase Runner. Very cinematic type of things. Very cool. Again, Totally different from what you're used to because this is their voice. This is their, uh, this is Kevin and his team's expression of what uh, what they do. Let's go to a couple of tonal pulses. And um, let's try the tonal pulses here. Ooh, let's go to cloud pulse. Almost sounds like a real foggy uh, shipyard or something. Tim, this is this is kind of going to be pretty much what today's going to be, <laughs> but in some really interesting ways. Uh, that's kind of like what I felt like seeing all of these spirals and things. Um, let's just go to some more rhythmic, let's go to uh, some rhythmic pulses here. Uh, now this is kind of cool. Uh, I like what, uh, what Kevin's done with this. So you've got these um, menus. Each one has a different different sound, a different pulse. And then these keys down here will transpose it. So you can kind of play them. And Kevin, if you're if you're still in the chat, uh, you know, if you've got some favorite uh, favorite patches, let me know and I'll pull them up and see what happens. Yeah, so you can transpose those down. Just very creative stuff going on here. And let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go to some more. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's go to some bases. Let's go to uh, future pad reverse lead. Yeah.
It takes me a little while to get uh, warmed up sometimes. triggering these just makes it um, there's so much in how you play it and trigger and re-trigger cool okay let's do some more let's do some more pads and leads here uh, ethereal wave Oh. delays and different things kind of are inter interweaving itself. Yeah, we're, we're just, uh, it's just incredible. There's so much that is put into the source and and it, that's what just makes it come, come alive. Uh, just, just, and, and from unusual sources too. Uh, very unusual Let's, uh, let's just, yeah, hey, listen, if, it, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, Nautilus Pluck, yeah, you've got to kind of, I mean, yeah, okay. This has got some air, some breath to it.
and it gets a little plucky when you turn down the uh, It's almost flute-like. It's like that lead sound in uh, Africa, you know. And you open that filter up. Very cool. Okay, let's keep going. Just to, just and my famous last words. Just just a few more. <laughs> my famous last words. Okay. I just am interested to check out some of these tonal pads, maybe. Um, ooh, let's see. Launch, launch pad. It's got this beauty and foreboding all mixed in together. <laughs> and these are great for atmospheric and atmospheric things. It literally creates and paints these atmospheres that you can just get lost in. Um, yeah. Hey, Felding, good to see you. Welcome from Den Denmark. Uh, good to see you. Okay, let's just check out a couple of these rhythmic. Um, <laughs> okay, hiccuput. Hic yeah, you've got some really crazy things that use the step sequencer. You know, for rhythmic beds and things like that. There's so much packed in here. I, I think that is the beauty of um, so many of these developers. They they give us so much that we can um, that we can use. Um, we've got some drones. Let's see. Let's go to a powerhouse drone. You hear all the harmonic uh, content in there as well. Very complex things going on here. And I love how CC1 just kind of helps you modulate that. Uh... Just some really wild drones here. Okay, let's just check out. <laughs> let's just check out one more. Let's go back to bases and leads. I've been having uh, I've been having some good luck with that, and um, okay. Dun dun da 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 da. -da. Oh, here we go. It's plucky and fun, but it's got some heft to it.
That's fun. And I'm stuck on that uh, Inspector Gadget thing. Okay, and then it did it then it kind of gets into yeah, this is the thing. Let's see. This is what's crazy when I explore these things. Um, let's see. A shortwave banjo. Yeah, <laughs> talk about a Twilight Zone uh, banjo. But see, I've not changed patches. I did not change patches. And, and so you start off, it's so versatile. That's the thing, you know, the, the patches are so rich, the sound sources and sampling approach and sound design approach are so rich that uh, it's just like you have something but it becomes like a piece of um, it becomes like a piece of clay, or you know, you you can take it and one minute it looks like one thing, and then the the next minute you've got something totally different in in there, and I and I think that's what uh, well, you know. I'm not, I'm not excited at all, <laughs> but I get excited about this kind of stuff because it's like it is just it's amazing to me. You can take something and make something else out of it and then make even something else out of that. It's just, uh, it's, it's very fascinating to me. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, it's deliverance, man. It's uh, deliverance and it's just a very, uh, yeah. Um, uh, and that's, uh, that's a little bit of shortwave uh, while I'm here, let's just kind of, um, you know, let's just see what else we can do. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. Uh, Kevin, it's just like, yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. Um, let's just see here. Um, let's go to some, just, just some kind of calmer things. This is, this is bars. And we've got, um, We've got uh, wood mallets and different gl uh, glockenspiels, bells, marimbas. Let's uh, let's go with like a um, a wooden mallet with a soft and just kind of um, kind of go into a different. Uh... Okay, I'm hearing a lot of stuff. Let's see. One, two. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 okay, can you still, you can still hear me there. Here we go. Yeah. And here again, we've got these transpose options where we can shift that range like that. So we start off with Now this is like the original Very nice. And totally different than what we just were listening to. Um, so let's go to like some of the processed uh, glockenspiels. Uh, ooh, that sounds good. Uh, glockenspiel slow dream bows. Uh-oh. And the mod wheel. That's beautiful. When you bow those bars, uh, those glockenspiels, and those types of instruments, you get such a pure, uh, pure sound from there. Um, 
Let's go to some another process. Let's go to the um, Tibetan bells and uh, <laughs> Santa's dinner bells. Okay, why not? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's a little close to Christmas time. And again, we can transpose these. I like having that feature because we can take something and just really go crazy low with it. So the thing is, the thing I'm hearing from from these are just such an attention to detail and some really cool things, cool approaches. And uh, the Chinese chimes, pad rolls. brings in those rolls. It sounds almost like water. That's beautiful. And let's just see, um, got a little uh, tongue drum library here. Um, let's just go to like the ambient mallet pad on there. Complex. I guess that's the word for these. Complex, it's harmonically complex. And that's what makes them so beautiful. Let's see, let's go to the... Um... Okay, let's see. Thanks guys for joining me today. It's always really a joy. It's a joy. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's a joy. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this is like a rhythmic uh, use, you know, the, the tongue drum, alien alarm. Okay, let's see. Wow, that's some crazy stuff. It's some crazy stuff going on. Oh, before I forget, you, you know, one of the cool things that they're doing there and let me let me take you back over here, is that there is a try before you buy. And I think this is a really cool approach where you can uh, you can actually download, uh, you can download some of these, uh, like some derivatives of these libraries, like a ghost cello uh, or the um, just some road percussion, some of the different libraries and be able to kind of just try out the engine and that kind of thing. Um, I think that's a really good approach. You know, just give a give the you know give us a sample of of what we've got, and I and I think that's uh, it's a fair price, and especially like the ghost cello, um, it's really cool that you can just try try that out, just try it out, and that lets you know firsthand if it's something that's going to speak to you or not. Uh, that's that's what I want to do here. I you know I just throw a lot of stuff out there. And it's not that you've got to buy everything. It's it is the fact that um, that I just want you to hear things, and that it can re you know resonate with you. If it does, then great. And if it doesn't, then you know. I, I think that is what um, that's what I that's what one of my goals is um, to just the mallets.
listen how that cuts through. Very expressive. Okay, while we're here, and you know what, I'm going to uh, definitely dive in some more uh, to some of these so we can come back to them uh, later. But let's check out the ghost cello uh, with the movements. Ooh, some of the movements here. And ooh, wow. Okay. This is collegno, like a trump tremolo. See, this is totally different too. You, <laughs> and this is the ghost cello. Uh, let's see. Let's go uh, get some shorts here. And let's see. Let's go to that uh, collegno. It's very nice and dry. Listen to that snap. Man, listen to that. That just smacks that. Wow, that's really cool. Very aggressive. And you get those overtones when you hit it really hard there. Um, okay, let's go to, uh, oh, wow. Now, this is like a, um, some movements here. And there's nothing like capturing the live performance. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's go to the harmonic tremolos. Thanks, Kevin, for that suggestion. Yeah. Okay, I transposed it. Yeah, again, that's what I've got to, I've got to wait for it to do it. Okay, let me just uh, see here. Let's transpose it down a little bit. And...
Versatility. Versatility. Okay. It's just, it is gorgeous. Uh, okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, so Triumph Audio has, uh, thanks Kevin for, man, thank you for your support, patience, and. Beautiful. So, um, so the guys at Triumph Audio have given me a copy of Shortwave to give away. And so um, that's what we're gonna do. And so what we're gonna, what we'll do, okay, that's for later. So if you're a, if you're a winner, use that, uh, use winners at praisetracks.com. Um, last week we gave away a copy of, um, I forgot what we gave a copy away. Um, but uh, whoever, it was uh, Bar Graph. Bargraph, you want to you won the giveaway last week. I I have not heard from you yet, so make sure you send me an email to that. Um, so let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, so use the command, and I, let me make sure before you get started here. Let me um, make sure this is on. <laughs> make sure is this thing on? Um, so when I say go, we're going to. Um, okay, there you go. Okay, there we go. So use the code um, exclamation point enter, and I'll just put it here uh, just for reference. And we can see all of those cool names pop up there. And I'll just play a little bit more and give you guys a chance. And if you're watching the replay, we do these drawings live, so make sure that you um, join us on the next live stream. Oh yeah, that's one of the things I get it might get in trouble with because I um, I inadvertently trigger the uh, the transpose when when it's kind of too close together. Very beautiful, uh, very beautiful. Okay, so let's see how many people we've got in there. Um, okay, so we've got 13. Uh, we've got 13 entered. Let's see. Oh, Timma, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, I think Timma, did Timma get in there? Yeah, Timma, you got in there. Okay, and that's good to know. So if, if even if I have the drawing thing going on, uh, if you still use the use it, uh, you can get in there. So good to see everybody in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to draw a name, and then um, somebody's going to win a copy of Shortwave. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Charlie. Okay, Charlie Hatton, and uh, <laughs> let me get my. Um, let me get my piece of paper. Um, so shortwave. And Charlie, what you want to do, um, make sure you send an email to winners at praisetracks.com. And congratulations. Congratulations. And I'm just going to leave that there because we've got more giveaways to come. Um, congratulations. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the the wait list. And, and again, I just am so grateful uh, to Triumph Audio, Kevin, and, and all of your work that you've done. Um, you know, we just, we, we've just scratched the surface. And uh, so I want to thank you for uh, all of the support. And uh, you, you guys are on, a, on the road to, uh, to great things. I, I really believe, I'm very excited to see um, what you guys are up to. Okay, so <laughs> the the spiraling the spiraling uh, continues, and so hold on, let me see, let me make sure. Um, okay, so that drawing is over, and um, and I'm going to reset the wait list, and then so for the next for the next thing. Okay, so 
I see a lot of things uh, on uh, the news groups and things. Thank you so much, man. It, it's, it's, it's crazy out here, believe me. <laughs> it's crazy out here. So one of the forums that I really enjoy is uh, VI Control. And VI Control is a place where so many amazing developers uh, hang out and share inspiration and ideas. And this is, this is how I found out about uh, our, next, um, our next feature. And this is Spiral Strings from Tan's Term. And uh, this is their very first library. And it's, and it's based on this really crazy instrument. I just can't, I can't hardly wrap my head around exactly what this thing is. But um, yeah, okay, so we can't see it that way. Um, but it is, it's incredible. And uh, so you've got to check out some of the, uh, some of the links in the description to learn more about this instrument because it is just, un uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> it's unlike anything, um, it's unlike anything that you've ever seen or heard before. Um, and this is Tonstrom's first contact library. You do need the full version of contact for this. And uh, we're going to, um, we're just going to pull this up and uh, just jump right into this. I love discovering new and interesting instruments because it's, it's just, it's, it's fascinating. Okay, so, so what I want to do, let's do this. So I'm going to um, just load up um, the initial, initial patch here. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so here we go. Let me make sure I'm where I'm supposed to be. And I am. You've got two layers here. With all of these different three, four, five, six, Okay, each layer has eight articulations that you can mix and match and combine. And we can blend between the two. And I tell you, you've got to watch their walkthroughs and learn more about this instrument. And we can see this layer B, this slow motion, um, this slow motion has been enabled. And what this does, it, it not only uh, transposes, but it actually changes the sampling rate. One of the things that they did is that they sampled this uh, at a high, at a very high sample rate. And so it, when you shift these down, Let's just go to layer A and listen to that. Just listen to it. I mean, it's just very compelling. Now I'm going to hit the slow motion. Now listen to what this does. You listen to that. And because it was sampled at such a high sampling rate, when it's pitch shifted down, you, you just have that pure quality. There's no loss. Now let's just stick, let's go back to the regular. Yeah, high frequency mics. Yeah, because you know, it makes all the difference. You get all of the detail. You get all of that detail. Oh, Audio Wang, there's more. We're going to give away a copy of uh, this library uh, as well. So welcome. Good to see you. And this is the stir articulation. So let's just go with the legato. And we can m mess around with the ADSO.
One thing I, I saw on the walkthroughs is that you've got to be careful with the release because it, the memory will just get chewed up if you're like me, if you hold on to the notes too long. <laughs> Then we can route modulation, which we'll get, get to in some of these other. Um, let's see, let's go to the Soul Panda channel. And listen how gritty. The cool thing is, let's see, let's try this. Uh, yeah, I just have the close mic going here. And that's so crazy. Let's turn the room on. Let's go and listen to that. And we're just listening to the one layer. Now let's just blend a little bit of the body. Aaron, you've got it, man. And then we can hit slow motion and transpose it down. Now you hear, listen to all of that. And when you, when you realize the size this thing fills a room. Uh, now I'm going to take layer B. I'm going to turn that stir back on. And we're going to just bring that back in. Hearing these, all these harmonics blending in. Let's see. And if this is your first instrument, guys, I can't wait. Um, so this is originates, uh, the instrument originated from Turkey. Okay, what I have to do, let's just go. And they are, they are long. They are long samples. Um, so, okay, yeah, okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Let me see, let me go to the effects. The other thing about the effects is that the impulse responses uh, are of just uh, superb. They, they just really took their time and put together such a um, high quality amount. So this is like a spring reverb that we're listening to now. But let's um, let's just go ahead and um, and let me go back. And we can just do the close mics. Okay, now this is as that's just as dry as you can get. Then we'll bring the room mic with the stir. Let's just bring. Let's go to B here. Let's go effects. 
B. Okay. Yeah, no reverb. Just got a little tape saturation here. Let's just turn, um, let's just turn that. Um, it's crazy. Okay, yes, okay, so we've got, we can enable um, the different things. Yeah, so we can enable and disable So I've got all of the, uh, pretty much everything just kind of disabled. So this is just like the dry, the dry sound. And tremolo. Because I've got that room mic. Okay, let's see. Okay, this, okay, uh, okay, yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, I've got it panned. So that is the, um, so this is like the, um, yeah, that's the pan. We'll pan that, um, yeah, so I, I, I had it, um, so we'll center that. Let me just see something here too. Okay, so on Windows, if you hit Control, it will recenter those controls, so. So now we've got uh, A in the middle, and B has the room mic, uh, A has the close mic. That's... And playing with those envelope generators, you can get some really interesting effects. So you can almost get like a, almost like a pluck type of sound. That's cool. Okay, let's go to some of these, um, Presets here, we've got uh, some tags, category tags. So um, let's go to moving, um, floating, oh yeah, yeah, we need some of this. Uh, floating, floating waves of happiness. We've got harmonics, two layers of harmonics here, um, and some LFO action going on here, and the strings, um, different things going on. <laughs> Part A is using the slow motion, the pitch down. Let's bring up a little piano. You see what happens when what what I just did there?
just magic there. Uh, beautiful. And just the delay of the, the sounds coming in a little bit and just flowing in and out. And so that's enough. That's, I, always, I like to say this. This is coming out of the PXS 7000, uh, the Casio. I can just reach over here and just dial up that piano and it just, uh, just gives you that little extra something, something when you need it. Uh, and less, yeah, it is. It's very, it's got a, it's got a lot of air to it. Um, okay, wow. And I like the fact that they've given us all of these creative things here, uh, given us so many cool creative <laughs> castle of clouds. Oh, wow. We've got that tape saturation too that adds a nice warmth. Yes, Nathan, yeah, stay tuned. Listen to that. It's, it, it sounds vocal. It sounds vocal to me. Is there vocals in here? <laughs> there's a voice. There's a voice in the machine here. It's, it sounds vocal. <laughs> I hear flutes, I hear strings, I hear voices all around me. It's an amazing thing to see. It's an amazing thing to hear. Sometimes I can't believe my eyes or my ears. There's so much sound all around us. Impossible to take it all in. But that's where the joyful journey begins. I mean, it's hard to it's it's hard for me to wrap my head around this. <coughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Ton Tonstrom, explain this to explain this to me. Explain what I'm hearing here. Because it it, it is. Um, explain what I'm hearing because I'm hearing so many different things other than what I'm seeing here. Um, You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, let me, uh, I'm gonna put this, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna put this through, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this through black hole. And um, <laughs> I always find myself wanting to run things through just the default, um, just through the default uh, black hole preset. Um, <laughs> so so that's, what I, that's what we'll do here. Um, and let's just hear what happens. Many times I don't, uh, get away from just the just the preset, the black hole preset. So I'm going to just stay on this. Um... And that's the other thing. When you record things at high quality, at higher bit rates and things, when you... Um... It's almost like the human voice. 
okay, articulations, and, and then the resonating, these resonators, these unique type of resonators and how they're uh, applied. Um, just allow it to resonate in, in a very non-traditional way. And this again is going through uh, Black Hole. I love that stir. Uh, it just gives so much life and movement to it. Wow. Yeah, so they've got these spiral things attached to the strings. And uh, let me see if we can see uh, a picture of that, um, let's see, uh, we can kind of see, we kind of see some of that, um, we kind of see some of that here. And just, this is, this is what we're, this is what we're hearing. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just fascinating, fascinating. Okay, guys. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's check out a couple more, and then we'll give uh, we'll give this we'll give a copy away. And okay, and one of the things to remember, um, let, let let me see. I think uh, I think it is um, it's now on it. Well, listen now. What it says on the website is one seventy nine, but let me tell you if. Um, if you use if you use the code praise tracks, if you use the code praise tracks at, at the checkout, um, then you're going to save um, you're going to save a lot more. And uh, I'm not quite sure for a limited time. I think until maybe the first of May or something, um, you guys um, Tonstrom has given uh, given viewers this uh, extra little extra bonus here to save some on this beautiful library. Again, you need to use you need the full version of contact for this, and um, <clears throat> and remind me, guys, uh, Tonstrom, uh, Emil, if it's Emil on the chat, uh, just remind me of the of how much the discount using the code would be, and uh, because I I, I forgot, but uh, I'm going to check out a couple of more of these uh, presets, a snapshot type of things, and then we'll um, and I want to turn make sure I turn black hole off, we'll bypass that. We may bring it back on here, um, but let's see. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, let's just check out some rhythm here. Um, okay, so 119. 119 with the code for a limited time. See, look at this. And they've done some really cool things with the LFOs. And we can sync it to the tempo and that kind of thing. Okay, riding horses, that sounds, okay, yeah. Okay. 
And Busy B. And then pads. Okay, so we've, okay, so if there are not a specific preset for a combination of tags, then it won't show up. Um, okay, distorted reality. That's the other thing we've, they've got in here. They've got just a cool distortion. Okay, so let me see, let me get this set up here. If you want to win a copy of, um, if you want to win a copy of this, um, thank you Tonstrom for uh, providing a copy of this. So, let's uh, go ahead and you start putting your code in exclamation point, enter. And, um, it's incredible. Email, it's absolutely my pleasure, my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Now, black hole is not, uh, black hole is not on here, so you're hearing Ready for this? Okay, here we go. We've got fifteen. Here we go. Seventeen. Three, two, one, go. Aaron! <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Aaron. Wow. Um, that is great. That is great. Congratulations. Um, so make sure... Congratulations. I like the little confetti uh, on there. I think that's cool. Uh, Aaron, make sure that you uh, send an email to um, winners at praisetracks.com. And thank you so much. And thanks, Tonstrom, for what I, what I see as a very amazing beginning. Like, like I said before, if this... If this is your first instrument, uh, we have so much to look forward to. Just thinking out of the box and giving us something unique and different. It, you know, when there are thousands of string libraries, piano libraries, that kind of thing, this comes along and takes us to an amazing place. So thank you so much for that. Man, I just wished that we had more time, but we do. We've got a little bit more time. And um, and like what I said, you know, a lot of times I, I feel like I'm at a buffet 
and I get way too much on my plate. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's incredible. <clears throat> and I, oh, hold on. Yeah, just breathe. Mm. Make sure you use the code Praise Tracks when you're checking that out, and um, it's just so amazing. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, I've almost uh, got to the bottom of this one. Mm. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, what we're going to do, so if we don't get to go to the Zen Garden today, we're, we're, we're going to, we, you know, I always try to try to do... <laughs> That that's the thing, Les. That's absolutely true, and it and it feels like that the time continuum speeds up when I'm in, when I'm in this room and the camera's on. It's like time just has a tendency to um, to not care, um, not care at all. Um, and so this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at shadow strings and. When I saw this, um, when I saw this pop up, uh, I think it was the, it had to have been like yesterday or the day before, um, and I saw Ben Osterhaus's name in the in the title. Yes, um, yes. Let's see here. Yes, that's the code. Use that code. You can get um, you can get spiral strings for one nineteen. You'll save. Yes, like sixty, like sixty bucks. Yeah, so um, fantastic. Okay, yeah. When I saw Ben Osterhaus's name to, attached to this, it's like uh, I had to check it out. Uh, you need to. Um, you've get now. This one needs contact seven full. Uh, you need contact seven full for this library because there are some things that. Um, there's some things that Ben is doing uh, in um, in this library. Yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead. And what I really thought was nice is that um, he showed us how to. Uh, let's, okay, come on. Yeah, see, this is this is one of the reasons why I uh, I've avoided contact seven some. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to say best performance. With the graphic engine, uh, because they they use different ways to hook into the uh, to the graphics. But uh, but yeah, Ben was so cool. He uh, gave us instructions on how to add the um, how to add the um, the little library tab in there. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the um, the first preset here, and and again, Ben doesn't copy himself. I mean. Each library that he that he comes out with, he does something fresh. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I'm at the right instrument here. Oh, there is my. Okay, I'll just. Uh, yeah, can you do that? Because you know what, I, I would I would knock it over. So um, yeah, so my beautiful. Yeah, let him just wave your hand. You can just that. That's that's the that's the. She is the best. Um, so she's going to give me a, a quick refill here. <laughs> you know what? Um, I don't think they can. Thanks, sweetheart. I don't think they can do away with the browser quite yet because there are so many libraries that rely, third-party libraries, Um, third-party libraries, they, they still have to have some kind of backward compatibility. Yeah, and um, the thing about Ben's walkthrough is um, incredible because he goes into some really cool secret details about uh, what he's doing here. So these are just um, the sustains. And there are three cellos. And one cello is, um, I think it was built in 1954. 
and it was uh, made in Louisville, Kentucky. And that is a place that is very close to my heart. <laughs> So the gentle is random frequent bow changes and you just hear how nice that is. And then the whisper will bring a ponticello where the bow is just scraping. Absolutely. I'm so glad that he's working with you guys. Having the three different cellos makes a huge difference. Now, watch this. We've got two sliders here, sub and, uh, and DTN. And when I first looked at DTN, I thought it was detune, but it's not. So watch what happens. I'm gonna pull this sub. And this adds an octave below and just really adds another dimension to this. Now look at how, yeah. It adds like a sub octave. And you can MIDI learn that. Uh, This is the gentle, but we can go to a harsh. And the harsh just plays without just a little. You know, Aaron, I. I think it's just maybe a single, uh, single dynamic layer, but it, it is it is long and flowing, and you've got the three different cellos going on, and that sub just really adds. And this is the this is the cool thing, is that we can go in and see what's going on. Yeah, so one dynamic layer. But with three cellos. And no vibrato. No vibrato. And so that makes that makes combining things and just kind of float. Now watch what we'll do here. Um, we've got that sub layer pulled up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that whisper, that ponticello layer, and now we'll just bring the distortion. It's distortion. And it just adds a little more character. Listen to that. Yeah, isn't that something? I, you know, Nigel, I never thought about it that way. Um, I never thought about it that way. But the thing about what Ben is doing with the articulations is, um, is incredible. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So we've got the sustains, the tremolo. And I love that he gives us a lot of info uh, the tone cross phase between the three plain styles. So we've got Airy is the first style. 
healthy is halfway between the fingerboard and the bridge and then spidery it gets close to the bridge and we can okay. and let's add that sub layer here And Ben goes into a little detail on how the sub and distortion layers are put together. Now see, I would love to, uh, yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just put that tone control onto the mod wheel. And then we've got swells. So this is a two bar swell and these are sync to tempo. And we can stretch these. That's the thing, when there are no vibrato, uh, when it's kind of played without vibrato, the stretching and things that you can do make it, it's easier to do when it's like that. And this legato, when you have the swells, let's take it, uh, let's take it at uh, one and a half times. So we hold a chord. Okay, let's uh, go the opposite way. Let's go 0.5. We go now see watch what happens we can play a note on top of that and those notes that you play on top follow the swell which is kind of neat talk about Ben's video be a lot because there's so much in there. He shows us how he uh, uses those swells and that legato. It's so beautiful. Okay, now this is a four bar swell and let's go just one time. Let me turn the distortion back down. Bow changes. And then just the whisper. And he's just sliding the, sliding the stick across the strings. And now watch this. We can go 8 VB. Bring in a lower. And then we can go and bring an, a higher octave, an 8VA. And we have control over the space. And he's using the built-in realm effects, but um, he has presets and snapshots that um, 
kind of bypass the built-in contact effects so you can use your own effects. And I think that is a really, really good, really good thing. Okay, now th this, okay, let's see what we've got here. Um, <laughs> now these are loops. Bringing that sub in there is so cool. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna go These are great for underscoring and beds and that kind of thing. <laughs> hey, listen. Just little random accent type of things. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. Okay. So we've got gentle, and then he's got the stabbed where it's a little more aggressive. And that gets more of those overtones popping out. And then the shake kind of alters the, uh, the attack to make it more punchy. That's cool. And these are eighth notes. Let's just, let's just turn the reverb off. Dial in a little bit of the reverb. That's pretty wild. Now it goes in reverse when we have the shape on the far left. And we have the shape all the way to the right, it makes it real perky. Tema, God bless you. Good to see you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. You're such a blessing. And then you can always map that to a control. Wow, man. And so we've got all of these different things going on here. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. And this is where it just kind of gets crazy. the quality of the way he's stretched these with very few artifacts. Yeah, the shape all the way over just really helps it be really percussive. This is pick pulse. Get some effects.
so it gets into some sound design, uh, sound design territory here. So we've got, okay, so you got uh, two second risers. Let's see. Yeah, you've got little short risers, and then you've got 12 second risers. Wow, okay, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And then we can adjust the sample start. So we can cut into the beginning of that. And we can go backwards. <laughs> okay, 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 thank you. Yeah. Okay, so the sub kind of stutters. Yeah, there we go. That's more. Very cool. Very cool, very cool stuff. And let's see, we've got some arpeggiators. I mean. <laughs> oh, listen to that distortion. Wow. Let me go back to these. Passive sixteenths and different things are just very beautiful. Let's see. There's just so much packed in here. Let's just go back to the sustains and uh... so let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and um, see if we can give a copy away. And um, let me see here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to reset the. Um, Gonna reset the list. And if you guys want a copy, to win a copy of um, Shadow Strings, now's the time. Jeremiah, you need um, for this, you need the full version of Contact 7. Uh, you need the version of Contact 7. There's different things with the time stretching and uh, some of the different effects uh, that uh, require that. So, um... Put the gentle and throw some reverb there.
thanks Zero G for sending this over. And make sure you that you use the link in the description. Um, that helps us a bit. I just think this, it's just so beautiful. Ben doesn't disappoint, I tell you. We had, um, we had been on the channel, it's been quite a few years ago, and just such an amazing musician, and full version only, yes, Jeremiah. So this is not a contact player library. Okay. There's so much in here. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna select a winner. Three, three, two, one, go. Whoa, okay now. <laughs> okay, man, Jeremiah. Uh, okay, so do you, okay, so the thing is, do you have uh, do you have the full version of Contact 7? Is that something that you would do? Um, or, or, yeah, uh, I was talking, I was saying earlier <clears throat> that, um, that you can get Contact 7, the full version, 50% off now. So um, congratulations. Man, it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. Jeremiah. So thank you, guys. So, um, okay. Ah, Jay. Yeah, th this one's over. <laughs> well, uh, do you have, if you, if you have seven, if you have seven, you can run native access and update it. So, um, okay. But do you, if you, if you have contact seven full, if you have contact seven full, you can, um, okay, okay, we can do that. Uh, okay, so the intro price is uh, until May 16th. And again, use the description below, that helps us some. Okay, so we will, we will do that. Thank you so much. And let's see, let's go ahead and um, let's do that. So let's uh, select another winner. And Jeremiah, there's there's lots of good things coming. So let's see. Here we go. So we'll select another winner. Oh, okay. Okay. So Troubadour. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, and uh, as always, make sure, <laughs> yeah, make sure you send, um, okay, let's get back out of here. <laughs> make sure you send an email to um, winners at praisetracks.com, and that uh, will uh, will be good. Congratulations, man. Okay, I think, I think we, let's just go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, I wanted I wanted to go ahead and see if we can just take a step just briefly into the Zen Garden, and we may come back and do some more next week if we don't have time. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew uh, about this one. Uh, it's currently eighty nine, and this is from our friends at uh, at Fluffy Audio, and I want to thank them for. Um, for sending a copy over to me. And we do have a copy of this to give away. So um, you do need the full version of Contact, of course. Uh, but this one uh, uses, you can have Contact 5.8.1 or above. Man, it is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Man, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so this is not a Contact player library, but you do need the full version. And this is like, I call it like a toolkit. It's, it's just like a really 
nice toolkit uh, for, for what we need a lot of today, and that is a little bit of um, tranquility and peace. And so let's see if we can get, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, it's just like a nice toolkit. And I've got Peaceful Pad pulled up here. And um, you've got, um, I mean, I've got so much here. You've got different categories of bells, percussion, strings, vocals, and wind. Let's pull up, um, let's pull up one of the, um, like the crystal bowl. And I'm going to, uh, but my velocity layer up a little bit. And we can adjust the attack of this. We've got three different mic positions, so we can just dial in out the far mic. which is like a texture layer. Then we've got sustains. Listen to that. That aura layer is really cool. Let's just kind of play without it. These are like sustained crystal bowls. Man, just some beautiful things. And let's see. Uh, peaceful pad, three tongue drums. the aura layer when it goes in there. And I saw this, um, I saw this as a, a classical guitar, um, a classical guitar in here. <laughs> you know how I, I get with guitar.
got an alternate sustain here. Yeah, it's almost like a cross between a harp. It's got a really interesting uh, attack. Got that close mic, we can you hear the uh, hear that attack, and we can we can kind of dampen that. You know, yeah, that's what um, that's what I kind of heard with that. I heard a little bit of vibrato in that. Uh, We gotta pull the, gotta pull that aura, and I'll dial the. Um... get lost in that. I could get lost in that. Let's just touch this uh, on this just real quick. Um, <laughs> the voices, the vocals are very cool. Um, let's look at the, uh, I guess it's Alin, uh, Alan, A-L-Y-N-E. And us, ooh, the aura just kind of adds a little bit of something extra on there. And this is uh, this is what um, I think is kind of cool. These um, these pentatonic phrases are kind of cool. <laughs> That's kind of fun. You can just kind of combine and play along with those. Uh, let's just tr check out um, one more of those. <laughs> I do have, yeah, I do, I do. Let me see, let me see where it is. Yeah, <laughs> 160. 
let's drop it down. Um, let's drop it down a little bit and try that. Try that again. Yeah, I've got it at 160. I think it was for in the mood last week when we were uh, checking out the um, the upright at uh, the vertical vertical piano. Let's see. Yeah, 70 BPM. So it it's at 70 BPM, and I've got it at uh, 160. Let's put it at 70, just to. Uh, That's a little better. Very gentle and sweet. Uh, and at the right tempo, you get uh, a better idea. <laughs> you get a better idea. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's go. Let's just go to... Um, like the hand pan D minor. And of course we just, we bring up that, that atmosphere and those. It's like a toolkit. So they've given us just a bunch of different, you know, it's it's like, um, I think, you know, Fluffy, you guys said in a comment, it's modular. It's a modular type of thing where, um, where you've got so many different things going on. Very beautiful. I, I'm going to go back to the peaceful pad. And this is just a little taste. 
<laughs> just a little taste uh, and um, and fluffy audio. Thank you so much. Um, just such a blessing. I like that. And then I'll bring the piano up here. It's perfect for layering stuff underneath, you know. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and fire up. Um, yeah, we, we ran over just a little bit, but, um, but I wanted to make sure we had uh, Start the uh, wait list here. I got it. Big M T brain. So good luck, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Thomas. Thomas Kasai. Congratulations. Wow. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody, and um, congratulations to um, Fluffy Audio, to Zero G, Ben Osterhaus, Triumph Audio, and Tonsterm. Yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> and um, so I just want to thank everybody for joining me today. What a trip. Debbie said it best. She said, what a trip. And boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, Thomas, you got it, man. God bless you. I just pray blessings. I pray blessings over all of my friends and um, so appreciate all the support from everybody. Thank you, Fluffy Audio, for sending this over and um, look forward to so much more that we can do uh, in the future. Okay, so until next time, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com telling you to stay joyful and I can't wait to see you on the next one and I'm going to play you out of here and I think uh, I'm going to take my sweetheart to Starbucks. <laughs>